I'm gonna spend the next seven days on this boat, spear fishing, diving some of the most beautiful reefs ever. So I'm gonna take you outside, show you the boat. <laughs> Sun's just setting now. Last time I did this trip, we are about 100 k's offshore. This time we're going 200 plus k's. The boys are here. Boys, are we ready? Woo! What we'll do is just send these tinnies off the roof, head out there, do a couple dives each day and, and just try and get, get whatever we can. Some of these fish we don't get back our way, so it's gonna be a good chance to get stuck into some, some new species and hopefully tick a couple off the list, have a good time, and um, I'll wake you up in the morning when we get there. Day one, we're first up in the tinny. We're just getting our gear now. We're gonna jump in here. It's looking pretty good. Boys are off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> These things happen. Oh yeah. Yeah, board shit itself, so it's a great start. I'm sweating bullets in this um in this wetty, but we're heading back in. We'll try to sort it out and get back out again. But. So we swapped her out for this beauty little 15 horsepower Suzuki and we're off again. Sweet. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? That's a PB shout. What a stud car. Nice. <laughs> you. Well, I just pulled up my uh, PB coral trout right here. Look at the size of this thing. That's the first dive. Only been in the water for less than bloody 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get it much bigger than that. That's a that's my PB trout for sure. Woo. Think the bloody horse. Oh. <laughs> Shrap days. Another massive trout. <laughs> well done, man. Straight away went for the reef, but I must have put a bit too much pressure on him. Shows the power of them. Bend the shaft, yeah. That's, that's a good a fish. Big tail on it. Right, so much power. Torn the esky, it was only time for Dylan to get himself on too. Right up in the cave there was a big groper staunching Dylan's trout. I'm just gonna have another look this side. The sharks just got in. Fuck, oi. Dill. Snaking a shark in the hole and you just went in. What the? You okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grab it, bam. Oh. 
don't know if I got any of that up there. <laughs> you went in the cave for like 10 minutes. There were sea snakes, sharks. What's that look? Oh, it's still got the oh. fish on it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Acro steaks. Hell yeah. Sounds like ice cold sushi for breakfast. <laughs> well, it's good to be home. <laughs> this is why we do those trips up north. What is this? It's absolutely chocolate milk colored water right now. Um, I'm back home. That first day of diving was pretty much the best we got on the boat. So I've got some trout with me. I'm going to cook it up. But yeah, just look at that. Absolutely shocking viz. It's going to take a few weeks to clear up and I'm um, going to try not to hit a tree branch on the way over here. Okay, I found a spot somewhat out of the rain. Rain, wind. We got the ingredients here. And what I'm going to be cooking today is fresh guacamole with garlic butter, coral trout, on a wrap. That's it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I got two fresh avos going in the bowl here. Put your elbow into it, but not too much, all right? We still want a few chunks. What we do now, chop a beautiful lime in half and just pour that over the top of it. And that helps preserve the avo. Alrighty, so we've got our tomatoes, our onion, our coriander, and we're gonna put all of that into the guac here. So I've got these beautiful pink salt flakes. Gonna put a bit of that on top. <laughs> Completely missed the bowl. All right, let's get the angle here. Little bit of pepper, not too much. Well, that just blew away. Oh my God. Look at that. It's actually the first bowl of guacamole I've ever made. I know that's crazy, I've just never made it for some reason. That is amazing. That's honestly so good. All right, our guac is nice and safe in there. Beautiful. Gonna whack it in the esky and we'll prepare this fish up. Okay, so we've got a nice bit of coral trout skin on. The wok is warming up with a little bit of oil in it. And what we're gonna do is skin this fillet first. We don't want to waste this. Salt the absolute crap out of it. Both sides. Righty, literally give it a little bit more salt. The more the merrier, although you can over salt this, so just go easy but go hard if, if that makes sense. Chop this up into nice eating pieces. Alrighty, in they go. Break them up. Are you kidding me? Everything's going a million miles an hour right now. Okay. Holy crap, that might be too much. Ah! Whoa! The heat is very hot right now. Garlic in. Beautiful, crispy, cold trout crackling. Oh. It's an eagle. Look at that. He was checking out what I was doing over here. Alright, fish is cooking up nice. Wow, look at that. I gotta do a little quick taste test here. Oh, it's so buttery. Okay, that was actually a pretty simple cook up. So we've got everything on the table here now. I'm gonna put it all together and have a taste test. Tell you guys what I reckon, but here we are. We got the guac, the wraps, the fish, bit of entree that's pretty much gone. 
bit of extra salt, QP. It's everything you need right now. Let's make one up. We got green wraps to match the guac. It's also all I had, so I'm gonna use that. Yes. Yeah. It matches so well. Look at that. Splendid. Okay, get some fish. You know what? Let's chuck these bad boys on the wrap too. And you know the drill. Pop the cap. Get some of this on. Okay. Just go and turn me into the Hulk. Let's have a taste test. No. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we got a bit of crackling here. The guacamole just hits different. Alrighty, that's me. I'm full. I'm done. I'm getting the hell out of here. That wind is pumping. We'll see you in the next one with some good weather. You.